Hi right, guys. Just another very quick update. Every couple of minutes. Just quick update to my poly tunnel. All right, just using that. I've got to water them. Uh, well, I've watered them a little bit, but they're falling over a little bit. But hopefully, yeah, uh, that might produce something anyway. But uh, leeks are doing okay. One well, of the insects that I put in, but the ones I grew from seeds, I've started shooting up again. So as soon as I put them in here, they've only been in here for a few days. They're doing really well, healthy. Salads, yeah, onions, spring onions, doing okay. All these that I've sown in here, you can see some life already. Uh, more butternut squash. There's the others. Down there. These are the onions that were onion sets that I put outside about a month or so ago. Just haven't really uh, established with those roots. Um, they are obviously twice the size they were. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to put them in there, fill the rest of this up, see if I can get some uh, of them established over winter. Peas are coming up, which I'm only going to use obviously for pea tops or whatever. Or oh, got to slow down as well because I've been told to slow the camera work down. So this is coriander seeds that are coming through. Onion sets are definitely firing so they're going out tomorrow probably they look a bit dry at the back end so i'll put a bit of water in later uh, garlic is definitely uh, firing because it's pushing itself out so those can definitely go in yeah they definitely get the root in there so yeah that's a very very quick update so let me pull it all up while i'm closing up I don't know that much. I just be careful, these don't rip anymore. Uh, but I've been pulling up my butternut squashes here, as I said, doing a bit of weeding. That lot's got to go. I'll weed all that tomorrow. Uh, of course, it's still growing, so I'm leaving these. These are where the onions were. There's just still some more onion sets to, to pull up. They've still been weed, all weeded. These, I'm going to leave in that one. So that's that done. Tidied all this up. We did that a bit with the top end of that. That's where the button squash were. Done all that, broke right, my buddy. Scissors, cutting them all down. There they all are. That's looking a bit tidy again. Got a weed, weed, and weed, and get all these. I'm going to have to build another box. I'm going to have to get some uh, pallets, and make a temporary box up there. Or something shift all this stuff because I've got loads. The Daleks are full basically. <coughs> anyway, uh, anyway, anybody for beetroot? And he's gonna cook. <laughs> so it took about seven hours to bake him, but anyway, it's only for pickling. So, oh, this lot's gonna be weeded. Forget the seeds now. There's one beetroot that's a couple of beetroots set there, the rest of them bother for it, but uh, not to worry, a bit of fun. Let's do this. I was going to go up to Tiverdale today after work. I got down here to get my tools. I thought we've got a load of stuff to do in here. Let's do that today. I've got Monday off, my daughter. I'm not at work tomorrow. So I thought, you know what, come down tomorrow. But here you go. Back to Stan Road. It's a little wonder. I don't know, get my car. So I've been lazy. I've drove the car to you into the site. There you go. The guy who shed with the pins, if you remember, a, month or so, a few months ago. I don't want to present now, because I'm a bit too big. But uh, a few leaks. His plot was up here, so I'm walking you up the path. This is where they took it from. I took it where those white chairs are from there, in one, at the gate over there. Yeah, right. We reckon they walked down here. 
It's in a waiting van to which somebody's let them on the plot to put in. But that's only my theory. A few of the guys' theories as well, but it's done, it's dusted, let it go. Generally, it's neat and tidy, people are really friendly down here. One of my friends, he's had a bit of a rough time with his health recently, so, but he's doing well. Somebody's helping him. The guy that actually had his uh, shed pinched has helped him. He still works his trap, he does. The guy that uh, had his shed pinched has retired. So he's down here normally in the morning. But I think he's knocked him about a bit having the shed pinched. Just understand all. It's a nice neat plot. All the little uh, pot scarecrow. That's great. Anyway, there's a portal of the cabin. There's some more plots around the corner, but I'm not gonna go there because it's getting late now. I only wanted this to be a couple of minutes. But anyway guys, here's me uh, my old knacker. Still keeps going. Daughter calls her Mary. But anyway, for my Dry Netherton at approximately half past four ish. Cheers for watching, guys. All the best. Bye.